Whether it be playing through injury, playing on no sleep, or playing after a wild night at the clubs, NBA players aren't unfamiliar to enduring through unfavorable circumstances during the NBA season. Although these usually turn out with unfavorable outcomes, there have been quite a few instances in NBA history where NBA players have played through unfavorable extreme circumstances, only to thrive against all odds. So today, let's go over the most handicapped player performances where NBA players push through to find success. Welcome to Sportsphere, and let's kick things off with hands down one of the greatest games the NBA has ever witnessed. Oh man, this one is an all-timer. It was Game 5 of the 1997 NBA Finals between Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls and the Utah Jazz. The series was knotted up at 2-2, and tensions were at an all-time high as these two teams battled for championship glory. But there was a massive problem brewing for the Bulls. Their leader, the great Michael Jordan, was feeling under the weather. I mean, the guy was visibly ill, weak, and exhausted. Some reports even said MJ was suffering from food poisoning after a late night pizza delivery went wrong. Now, any normal human being would have called in sick and spent the day huddled under a blanket sipping chicken noodle soup. But Michael Jordan isn't just any normal human being. This dude decided to prove he's a certified basketball cyborg, hardwired to compete at the highest level no matter what. So despite being as sick, MJ laced up and took the court, determined to lead his squad to victory. And let me tell you, those first few minutes were hard to watch. Jordan looked like a zombie out there, missing bunnies and struggling just to run up and down the floor. But then something incredible happened. Maybe it was the adrenaline kicking in. Maybe it was a goat thing. But Jordan started to find his groove. He was knocking down jumpers, attacking the rack, and doing classic MJ things. By the fourth quarter, Jordan had shifted into that infamous, untouchable mode we all know and love. He was hitting ridiculous, contested shots, making brilliant passes, and basically toying with a jazz defense. With the game tied and just under 30 seconds remaining, Jordan pulled up for one of the most iconic shots of his career, a cold three-pointer that putting the Chicago Bulls up by three points. The guy was running on fumes at this point, barely able to stand up straight, yet casually drained a clutch triple before securing the close victory. When that final buzzer sounded, MJ collapsed into Scottie Pippen's arms, completely spent but victorious. After Jordan totaled 38 points for the game, scoring 15 of the Bulls' 23 in the fourth quarter, it was one of the gutsiest, most heroic performances in sports history, cementing Jordan's legacy as a true superhuman competitor. Even today, over 20 years later, the flu game still gives me chills. It's the kind of thing you'd see in a cheesy sports movie and roll your eyes at for being too unrealistic. But for Michael Jordan, the impossible was just another day at the office. Now, speaking of flu games, we've got to talk about Dirk Nowitzki's legendary performance in the 2011 NBA Finals. This one might not be as iconic as MJ's, but it's every bit as impressive and arguably even more clutch. It was game four of the finals, with Dirk's Dallas Mavericks trailing the Miami Heat's Super Team 2-1 in the series. The pressure was on, and the Mavs desperately needed a win to even things up and swing the momentum back in their favor. But there was a massive problem. Dirk was fighting a nasty case of the flu, complete with a raging fever, body aches, and all the other fun symptoms that come with being struck down by illness. The big German was in rough shape, to say the least. Now, any sane human being would have taken the night off, rested up, and tried to get healthy for the next game. But Dirk Nowitzki is cut from a different cloth. This dude wasn't about to let a little thing like the flu stop him from chasing that shiny championship ring he'd been pursuing his entire career. So Dirk suited up and took the court, looking like he'd just come out of a hospital bed. And despite his condition, the guy was an absolute spectacle from the opening tip. He was knocking down tough shots, fighting for rebounds, and doing everything in his power to will his team to victory. As the game wore on, you could see Dirk's illness taking its toll. This guy was sweating, struggling to catch his breath, and looking more and more tired with each possession. But the man simply refused to quit, digging deeper and deeper to find that extra gear. 
with the Mavs trailing late in the fourth quarter. With around 15 seconds remaining, with his team up by one, he one of the biggest shots of his career. He's going too early. Drives underneath, layup, he puts it in! Nowitzki makes it a three-point game! A smooth layup that sent the American Airlines Center into a frenzy, putting the Mavericks up by three points. When that final buzzer sounded, the Mavericks had pulled off the win, and Dirk had just authored one of the most, against all odds, finals performances in recent memory. To put up those kinds of numbers, 21 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, while battling a nasty flu is just insane. But to do it while 2-1 down in the finals, against one of the greatest big threes in NBA history, that's the stuff of legends. Dirk's flu game was a masterclass in toughness, determination, and sheer championship-level greatness. Before we get into another incredible handicapped performance, this time of the present day, here's a word from our sponsor at DraftKings. Hey sport fans, things are heating up this year. We've got the NBA playoffs coming up, and we're teaming up with one of the best partners in the game to bring you an incredible offer. We've linked up with DraftKings to bring all new customers a deal you can't miss. Right now, all new customers can share their shot at millions with an initial deposit of just $5. To play, just draft your roster and those players earn points based on their in-game performance. You can check out all that DraftKings has to offer through their mobile app or website. So what are you waiting for? Download the DraftKings app now. New customers use promo code SS and play free for a share of millions in total prizes with just a $5 deposit on the DraftKings app. That's promo code SS only at DraftKings. All right, let's fast forward to the future for this next handicapped performance, because it's going to blow your mind. Around 2021, Kyrie Irving decided to fully embrace his Muslim faith and take part in the holy month of Ramadan, which involves fasting from sunrise to sunset each day. For those unfamiliar, fasting during Ramadan means no food or water can be consumed from dawn until dusk. It's an incredibly demanding spiritual practice that tests one's mental and physical fortitude to the absolute limit. Now, most NBA players would probably take it easy during their first Ramadan, maybe sit out a few games to rest and recover, but not Kyrie. Nope, this mad beast decided he was gonna play through the entire month while fasting, and the results were simply mind-blowing. So I have brothers and sisters all around the world that are fasting with me. Uh, we, we hold our prayers and our meditations very sacred. I'm walking with faith. In his five games while fasting, Kyrie's most notable game came in the form of a 34-point and 12-assist outing, while shooting over 80% from the field and leading his team to the first round of the NBA playoffs. Impressively, in these five games Kyrie played during his first Ramadan, he averaged a ridiculous 30 points per game, over six assists and five rebounds, along with nearly two steals. Contrasting to his regular season averages of 27.4 points, nearly six assists, and four rebounds, we can confidently say that abstaining from food and water for such a period did not hinder his performance at all, and may have unlocked something even more special. During this 2024 Ramadan stretch, Kyrie played in 15 games for the Dallas Mavericks. In those games, he averaged a whopping 26 points per game on 51% shooting from the field and 92% from the free throw line. He was also chipping in 1.5 steals per contest while playing lockdown defense at the other end. But more importantly, Kyrie played a big role alongside Luka in turning the Mavericks season around completely. The Mavs went 14-1 during Kyrie's 15-game Ramadan run, putting them in clear playoff contention. Let that sink in for a moment. Kyrie was putting up numbers better than his regular season averages, also seeing a near flawless record for his team, while abstaining from food and water for 12 to 15 hours each day before games. The level of physical and mental stamina required to pull that off is just insane, but Kyrie's masterpiece came in a 48-point explosion against the in-form Houston Rockets. The dude was out there hitting step-back threes, Euro stepping through the lane for buckets, and putting on an absolute clinic all while fasting from sunrise to sunset, leading his team to a dominant victory, also ending the 11-game win streak for the Rockets in Houston. Oh, and let's not forget about that iconic game winner he hit against the league's best team while running on empty. Irving for the win! Oh my! Oh my! A self-pump finish from Kyrie Irving! Just absurd! 
Kyrie drained a cold-blooded left-handed floater in the final seconds to lift the Mavs to victory, capping off an incredible series of handicapped performances in NBA history. Now switching gears to one of the most bizarre, unintentionally hilarious stories in NBA playoff history. Dennis Rodman and his legendary 48-hour Las Vegas bender before a pivotal 1998 finals game against the Jazz. This story is so unbelievably on brand for Rodman that I almost don't believe it really happened. Almost. Now, if you know anything about the worm's wild personality and debaucherous antics, this story will sound painfully on brand with the Bulls holding a 2-1 series lead after blowing Utah out in Game 3, Rodman decided to jet off to Sin City for a couple days of uninterrupted partying, you know, completely normal behavior during the NBA Finals. So while Michael, Scotty, and the rest of the Bulls were buckling down and focusing on closing out the series, Rodman was busy raging in Vegas. The stories that came out about this bender were insane. But let's leave that for another day. Now despite pleads from teammates and coaches to get his head back in the game, Dennis just couldn't be tamed. He didn't resurface from the Vegas haze until just a couple hours before the pivotal Game 4 in Chicago. I bet Phil and Michael Jordan must have been fuming, assuming their star rebounder was too zoned out to contribute. I mean, who could possibly play at a high level after that? Well, leave it to Rodman to completely exceed all expectations. From the second he stepped on the floor, you could see the man's famous intensity come alive as he bodied up Utah's bigs, crashed the glass with reckless abandon, and played menacing defense. He was the ultimate chaos agent, disrupting the Jazz's rhythm all over the court. For as out of his mind as Rodman clearly was coming off that bender, he somehow willed himself into delivering a classic worm performance when it mattered most. He finished with a nasty 14, rebounds, 6 points, and was a game changer in Chicago's pivotal victory to put them one win away from another title. To play your best game of such an important series after coming off a massive bender is one only very few can pull off. Rodman's story is so outlandish and absurd that it almost seems fictional. Was he fueled by one too many bumps of that premium Rodman rage? Or was Rodman simply an animalistic rebound gobbling cyborg? However you slice it, his hangover game was the stuff of legends. Overall, Rodman's antics were already bizarre and controversial enough, but to follow it up with that level of unshakable intensity and production under the brightest lights? You have to admit, the man was operating at a different level mentally and physically than the rest of us. Maybe the endless partying was just his natural way to stay locked in that maniacal mindset. Either way, it makes for an all-time classic NBA story. So there you have it, folks, some of the most iconic handicapped performances in basketball history. Let me know which of these iconic efforts impressed you the most down in the comments below. Was it Jordan's iconic takeover against Utah? Dirk's cold-blooded shot-making against the Heat? Kyrie going thermonuclear while fasting for Ramadan? Or Rodman being built differently with his drunken rebounding clinic? Plenty of insane options to choose from. And if there are any crazy handicapped games we missed on this list, please let us know. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for way more wild sports content just like this. Thanks for watching Sportsphere, and we'll see you in the next video.